Have you been putting in hours and hours and hours of work and still feel like you're not getting any closer to reaching your goals as a junior developer? Have you followed all the advice that you can find online and including mine and still feel stuck in your current career? Do you find yourself starting and stopping on this journey over and over and over again? Well, I'm here to tell you, you are not alone. Even as a senior developer, I often find myself in seasons of this cycle where I, I feel like I'm just spinning my wheels and I'm working really hard, but I'm not really growing. I'm not really getting to the next level that I'm really hoping to get to. I'm not really reaching those goals that I've set for myself. Today, I want to talk about three problems that a lot of junior developers have when they're setting up their career goals. Then we'll discuss how you can solve those problems and get your career back on track. Hey, junior devs, Dev Mentor Dave here, helping you bridge the gap from learning code to launching a successful career. And part of that includes creating goals. So the question for you today is, what are your goals as a junior developer? I'd love to see some of your goals, so share them with me in the comments below. So why do we even set goals? Why, why do we create this uh, situation where we're trying to attain something that it seems like we, we're never going to get there and we seem to fall flat all the time over and over and over again? Why, why do we even do this to ourselves? Well, goals are good. They give us something to aim at. They give us something to let us know that we have accomplished something. They give us a sense of accomplishment when we get there and they give us motivation along the journey as we're going through the hard times to keep going because there is an end in sight. There is this idea of achievement and success that we're seeking to attain. In fact, when you think about it, any project itself is kind of a goal. Project end, whatever it's supposed to look like, is the goal. Our, we're trying to achieve that, whether it's building a house or building a, a web application. The problem is that a lot of junior devs kind of set themselves up for failure from the very beginning because they don't really know the best way to create goals or what types of goals they should actually be creating. So let's dive into these three things that you should consider as you're making goals as a junior developer. If you've not heard of Dave Ramsey before, you should go look him up. Uh, he has a radio program, actually he's got a whole company now, all kinds of uh, materials and things like that that are very helpful for your finances. And his goal is to help people get out of debt and, and build a successful financial career, to help them to build wealth so that they can live like no one else. In fact, his one of his slogans is live like no one else so that later you can live like no one else. So basically, you know, do the hard things now so that you can be successful later. Dave has something called the baby steps. And these are seven steps that he has put together and that frankly, millions of people in the United States and even around the world have gone through successfully. And they followed these steps to go from one place to another, to go from usually in debt and a lot of times in a lot of debt to multi-millionaires in many cases. There's a reason why they're called baby steps. They're just very simple things that you do one right after another, and they kind of build on one another. The goal is to get you from here to here, and you do that just one baby step at a time. And that's one of the mistakes that not only do junior developers perhaps make financially, but they make when it comes to setting goals for their development career. See, we all have these really lofty goals of what we want our career to be like. We want to be a superior developer. We want to we want to make X amount of money. We want to do this for X number of years. We we have all these high and lofty goals, but we we need to actually break those goals down into manageable baby steps to get us from where we're at to where we need to be. And a lot of junior developers don't really do that. They just have big goals like I want to learn this programming language or I want to learn this framework or I want to work for this company or I want to have this job title or I want to make this amount of money. All of these are great goals, but they're really long term goals. They're really many months, if not years away, depending on the goal. So what you need to do is take one of those big goals and figure out what is a logical in a, in a normal path to go from where I am to reaching this goal. And you need to make smaller goals. You need to make baby step goals to get to that position so that you can 
tackle each one of those goals one at a time. So you don't go from being in thousands of dollars in debt to being a millionaire overnight. You're not going to go from being a junior developer to being a senior developer overnight. You're going to have to make specific calculated steps all along the way. So the first thing you need to do in order to be successful at reaching your goals is create smaller goals. I call them baby goals. Create intermediate goals, those small stepping stones to help you get to your final destination. One of the cool things about the Dave Ramsey program is because of those baby steps, you kind of do one and you realize, hey, I can do this. And then you do the next one and oh, I, I'm really starting to make momentum. And after step two or three or four, you just, you've kind of bought into the system and, and you see that it's working and, and you stick with it. And it's the same thing with development. If you just have this lofty goal, you're, you're going to spin your wheels. You're going to have hard days or hard weeks or hard months. And you're going to realize maybe I don't want to do this. And, and you're not getting any good positive feedback. If you make these small goals all along the way to reach your bigger goals, then when you have success in the small things, it'll keep you motivated because you'll see, I can actually do this. I love music. I've participated in music. I sort of sing, <laughs> um, not as well as I used to. Uh, but a few years ago, I wanted to learn to play the guitar. And I am not really good at playing the guitar. I can play some chords. I can play well enough to kind of play on the on in the church music but that's about it you, you certainly don't want me in your band but one of the reasons why i'm not very good at guitar is because i just kind of tried to learn it on my own i i found some chord charts and i learned some of the basic chords and any songs that we play at church i just kind of learned the chords that are necessary for those songs but i don't really know the guitar the way that somebody who has taken lessons and has practiced for years and years and years really knows the guitar. So in reality, my guitar playing is kind of hitting a plateau. I'm not really getting any better and I can't really get any better unless I'm willing to put myself under the tutelage of someone else. And that's the next mistake that a lot of junior developers make. They try to create their own goals based on what they know about the dev world or maybe things that they've read online or things like that. And they're not really talking to people who have been where they want to be to find out what are good goals, what are what are good baby step goals to get to where I want to be? What should be my goals? What should be the things that I'm trying to do day by day, week by week, month by month? See, you need to make friends with people who are already where you want to be. And a lot of that really is done through a mentoring program. If you find someone who's going to be a mentor to you, they're going to be really helpful in setting these goals and defining these goals and helping you know what you want to pursue, not just what they think you should pursue, but what you want to pursue, what would be good for you and how to actually get there because they've walked that path before. So not only do you need to make baby step goals, but you need to make those with the insight and the clarification and the help and the guidance of people who have been there before you. Make friends with senior developers. Not only have I failed to reach all my goals for learning guitar, but I am in this constant struggle of reaching some goals that I think a lot of other people struggle with as well. Um, and that's with my weight. Now you may not think that I look like a horribly overweight person, hopefully. Um, and I've been even losing a little bit of weight recently. Um, but that's one of the hardest goals for, I think most people is getting in shape physically and, and, and losing weight, you know, dropping the pounds that need to be, that need to be dropped and gaining the muscle and going through that whole process. Even though, frankly, most of us really know the things that we need to do. It's not a, it's not a lack of knowledge. It's a lack of execution. What really helps motivate me is not seeing a specific weight on a scale or not seeing a specific weight being lifted. What helps me is the visualization of what that's going to feel like, what that's going to be like, 
What is it going to be like to be able to, to walk up the stairs without huffing and puffing after one flight of stairs? What is it going to be to be able to know that more than likely, if I stay healthy, I'm going to be around longer for my wife and for my kids? Those are really the things that, that motivate me to make the changes necessary in order to reach those goals that I'm setting. And really, that's the third thing that you need in order to set the right kind of goals. You need to have goals that have vision. What do I mean by that? I mean, they need to have some sort of value outside of just hitting a particular metric. Your goal shouldn't just be about learning a specific language or learning a specific framework or trying to reach a certain level of income. Your goal should include changes in your life that are going to be better. Maybe it's something as simple as getting a job where you can work remotely so that you can stay home with your family more and you don't have as much of a commute. Maybe it's learning a different language so that you can get a better job so that you can take the family on a specific vacation. See, you need to make your goals something that is desirable, something that is going to continue to motivate you moving forward. Now, maybe for you, it is as simple as having more knowledge or having more income or whatever kind of those standard goals are. But for a lot of people, in order for us to get through the hard days, we need something that has a little bit more intrinsic value, something that's going to give us more the the touchy feely uh, type of value that you're not going to get from just saying, hey, I want to reach X amount of dollars. So if you build your goals with these three things in mind, you're going to be creating goals that will actually motivate you, that'll keep you going during those hard times, during those struggling times, during those times where you may be between jobs or maybe not able to get that first job as a junior developer. These are the types of dreams and goals that'll keep you moving forward. If there's something that is a baby step, something that you know that you can attain, that you know that you can learn, if it's something uh, that is desirable, that you're that is going to be a life change for you, and if it's something that somebody else has already done and they've given you good advice of a goal that you can or should attain to get from where you are to where you want to be. I'll tell you one place you should not get your goals from though, and that is chat GPT. Artificial intelligence, is not your friend as a junior developer. In fact, it will make you obsolete as a junior developer if you're not careful. Check out this video to learn how AI could make you obsolete as a junior developer and what you can do to prevent that. If you find this content helpful and you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks for spending time with me today and I'll see you on the next one.